subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel nine versus s9 plus speed test let's boot them up at the same time in three two one a lot of you have been requesting this comparison and it makes sense considering that both of these do have snapdragon 845s both of them do have a high amount of ram but they also do come in at very dis different price points and that being the note 9 significantly more than a galaxy s9 plus but this also can show you maybe a differences between you know the 6 gig of ram version of a samsung and the 8 gig of ram version you've seen the note 9 does boot up first samsung experience version 9.5 on the left and we have 9.0 on the right both are running android version 8 i believe this 8.1 and 8.0 for the samsung s9 plus okay so we've arrived at the application portion of this speed test and you could see that the note 9 everything closed everything closed for the s9 adreno 630 adreno 630 845 cpu 845 cpu 8 gigs of ram 6 gigs of ram is the difference here let's begin with settings three two one you can see settings is very similar on both heading into clock we have a similar performance there let's go into calculator you can see no real discernible differences samsung health and this might be a good indicator of the differences you're going to see if you buy a note 9 6 gigs of ram versus this note 8 or note 9 8 gigs of ram let's go into play store you can see a little bit faster there for the s9 plus clicking this application nearly the same exact performance let's go into instagram you can see instagram is first on which one neither it's actually a pretty equal draw there going through the application no real differences let's go into twitter you can see twitter is first on the right a little bit over the note 9 let's go into the snapchat application and again almost identical let's go into whatsapp and it looks like the s9 slightly let's go into youtube and youtube is first on neither it's basically the same performance here which is not surprising considering that both of these phones do have the same processor on board the note 9 has to push a little bit of a larger display let's go into prime video hopefully we get no ads here and we don't equal performance again let's go into amazon and this is not even surprising at this point but the s9 plus surprisingly not behind the note 9 at all you know you would think with the 8 gigs of ram it might slightly jump ahead maybe sometimes but not so far what about ebay and you can see ebay is about the same on both so this might be showing you right here that doesn't really matter if you get the 8 gig of ram or 6 gig of ram version this might just be overkill just to please power users like me myself let's go into the next application what about dead trigger 2 and you could see dead trigger 2 is going to open first on i look like the note 9 was slightly ahead but if we hit play we're going to see which one can load this first all right so let's hit play on both and see which one can get into the game first i do have high graphic settings on both of them again because these are both similar gpus they should load about the same and you've seen they did but i'm surprised that the s9 keeps coming ahead just a little bit over the note 9 but you mean you could argue that again like i said earlier smaller display might be helping that fact let's go into pubg mobile to see which one can load this game up first i will skip through this as this one does take quite some time to load up and we'll get into the starting the match section okay so we're back and the note 9 definitely won here when it comes to getting into the game so the note 9 was faster to load up this more graphically intensive PUBG mobile so let's just see which one can start the match first here on both and the note 9 wins this category over the s9 plus and i tried this before the video started on the PUBG mobile and it seems like the note 9 keeps winning that test let's go into slither.io and see which one is first and you could see that it looked like maybe the s9 it's so close it's really hard to see let's hit play against io and let's see if i can get a couple wins really quickly here oh no get away get away get away okay let's get out of there let's go into the next one which is going to be subway surfers and see which one can load this up first and both are just flying through this load time and you could see again i mean literally if you bought a note 9 or an s9 plus 6 gigs of ram there's no real difference you're going to see in the day-to-day on the performance which is actually pretty impressive considering that you would think android needing eight gigs of ram not really six gigs of ram might be enough and you can see they both do load speed tests about the same time so i would say it's a draw here 
and this application says the note 9 only won basically on PUBG mobile these slight little milliseconds fraction of a seconds they don't make no real difference so it's a draw in the application speed test even though the s9 plus only has six gigs of ram let's run through them in multitasking now i'm going to do this quickly here so we can fly through this one geekbench i don't think we're going to see any real differences again on this aspect i haven't had really any reloads for the s9 plus because of its six gigs of ram and i haven't had any reloads at all with the note 9 because of its eight gigs of ram so this shouldn't change things too much and this is one of the true benefits of buying a galaxy phone right now is the ability to multitask and still have those applications open now a lot of people do complain about how you're going to see a lag a little bit here and there on the galaxy s9 or on any galaxy phone for that matter but this is 2018 and these phones don't really have that and some people have been arguing that the touch latency is just ridiculous on here you don't really see those things unless you're really digging around and looking for them so yes maybe some other phones have better touch latency than these but these phones are very fast and very smooth and they have pretty nice animations and you're not going to really notice that stuff unless you're really looking for it and that's it they draw again in multitasking okay so the final scores are in and you could see that it's pretty much a draw here between both of them a little bit of a win there for the note 9 but i mean it's not a big deal i mean does that look like a 500 dollars difference in terms of the geekbench score because i definitely don't see it right there and you definitely didn't see it in the performance but don't let this video make you think that the note 9 still doesn't warrant its higher price tag this phone you're not buying just for that speed increase over an s9 for example you're buying it for the s pen remote the s pen functionality you're also buying it because you have the biggest samsung display you can get you might also be buying it because it has more of a flat display with which makes it a little bit less curve if you're into that you also might be buying it because it gives you 512 gigabytes of storage and maybe eight gigs of ram will play a role in the long term when you have this phone a very long time and you want it to stay snappy that might help it out a little bit over the s9 plus but as it stands right now there's really no difference in the speed department so i think that this video answers a very important question should i buy a six gig of ram version note 9 or an 8 gig of ram version you've seen here based on the performance of the 6 gig of ram s9 plus there's probably zero differences between them also if you don't need the s pen just save yourself some money and get yourself the s9 it's a little bit sleeker it's cheaper and it definitely does basically the same things the camera performance i've already been testing the note 9 is exactly the same basically as the s9 plus your thoughts questions comments feedback which ones do you think are the better deal here the s9s or the note 9s of the world let us know down below in the comment section are you skipping these out you're waiting for the s10 you're waiting for the note 10 let us know that as well thank you very much for watching if you found this video helpful enjoyable entertaining do me a favor and click that like button